Hi, hello. In this uh, brief presentation, uh, I would like to talk about one common food ingredient. Uh, we call it pectin. Uh, this is commonly found in a product like jam, as you can see the picture here, in uh, beverages like yogurt drink, um, and a lot of uh, food products uh, we can use uh, pectin. So in this presentation, I would like to talk about the source or the raw material from which we can get uh, pectin. Uh, pectin actually um, is extracted from plant uh, material and uh, commercially, uh, industrially, we can extract pectin from uh, citrus peel. This is one of the major uh, source of, or raw material we, uh, we can extract uh, from uh, which because the citrus peel like lime and lime contain uh, quite a substantial amount of uh, pectin, about 25 to 30 percent uh, pectin. Another um, raw material um, which uh, we can extract pectin from is from uh, sugar beet, which contain around 10 to 20 uh, percent uh, pectin. And um, one of the unique property of pectin extracted from uh, sugar beet is, uh, apart from the functional property to give um, to form a gel or as a um, viscosifying agent, as a thickener. Um, pectin from sugar beet also has a special property uh, as a emulsifying agent, it has a unique uh, emulsifying uh, property, which is good. So we have two in one uh, kind of uh, properties, uh, which is uh, pectin as a gelling agent and pectin as emulsifying property. Um, the third source of um, pectin is actually from apple pomace. Uh, in this picture here is a um, uh, apple pomace uh, pro in a dried form. Apple pomace is a byproduct from uh, in the extraction uh, from the production of cider uh, from apple. And um, the the fourth source of uh, pectin is uh, from uh, sunflower, uh, which contain around uh, 15 to 25 uh, percent uh, pectin. Um, we can classify pectin based on the uh, degree of um, methylation or degree of esterification, the methyl ester group in the structure of uh, pectin. So based on this classification, we can uh, classify pectin as high methoxyl pectin, which, which has a degree of esterification or DE greater than 50%, or low, low methoxyl pectin, which has a degree of esterification less than 50%. Another way to classify protein, uh, sorry, uh, pectin is based on the, the rate of gelation, how fast uh, the pectin form a gel. So we can classify based on rapid set pectin, uh, medium set pectin, and slow set uh, pectin. In the next presentation, I will, like, I, I will, I will discuss more uh, about the gelation properties uh, of pectin, what are the criteria or what are the factors that influence the formation, the rate of gel uh, formation, as well as the gel strength of uh, pectin.